Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union here at the Union's head office in Kingston, London. We're joined by FBU General Secretary Matt Rack to discuss probably the most serious thing that we as a union can discuss and that's a national fire strike. Now Matt, this comes in the back of an all-member circular which you've just written and sent out to members saying that we're now going to ballot FBU members for strike action over pay. I mean just first of all Give us the background. How do we get to this stage? Yeah, hi Tam. Just to recap for everyone, uh, we had a pay offer from our employers, a 2% pay offer. Even at the time, inflation was running in excess of 7% when the offer was made. Uh, the Executive Council met, uh, uh, recommended rejection of that pay proposal. That went out to members for consultation through the workplace branches. That came back, the Executive Council reconvened and unanimously uh, determined that the offer should be rejected. We wrote to the employers to inform them of that decision. <coughs> and um, since then, there has been further dialogue with the employers, uh, but the Executive Council reconvened last week to determine, if you like, the next phase, that you, clearly once we've rejected it, we have to decide what we do next, and that that should be a move towards preparing for a ballot. Now, Matt, you talk about the dialogue we've had with the employers since the offer. I mean, surely they must have picked up on the anger from our members, from firefighters and firefighters' control, over a 2% offer, which you at the time described as an insult. Has there been no movement from them at all? No increase in the offer? There has been an acknowledgement, I think. They have, uh, we're aware that the employers have written to central government uh, seeking more funding for pay. And if that's helpful, uh, but there's not been any response to that from central government, uh, what there hasn't been is any increased pay offer. So I think that reflects that the employers, the chief fire officers, understand the level of feeling and level of anger that when inflation is now in excess of 10% and talked about being 18 and 22% in coming months, the idea that you would uh, offer a 2% pay increase is insulting and simply doesn't accept, doesn't acknowledge the reality people are facing. So I think there is that acknowledge, acknowledgement of the situation our members are facing, but there is no movement on an actual pay offer. Okay, Matt. Now, for any industry, for any worker, <coughs> um, strike action is a very serious decision to make, especially so I would say in the fire and rescue service. Are you content that there's nothing else the FBU could have done? to actually resolve this matter. Is this really genuinely a last resort for us? Look, I, I think, Tam, everyone who's worked in this industry knows the importance of what we do and therefore the seriousness of the decision to take industrial action, any form of industrial action, but particularly strike action. And uh, we, we acknowledge that fully. Uh, there will be many members who have taken strike action before, but there will also be lots of people who haven't. And it is a very serious step to take. And we'll have to discuss that and explain that to people yeah. as this campaign proceeds. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, as workers, we are facing another round of cutting to our pay. Real, real living standards will fall, people in real hardship and ultimately the power that we have is to withdraw our labour and that's what we're now asking people to discuss in the fire stations, fire controls and training centres. Yes Matt, and that is one thing, you say in your circular that you're aiming to have the ballot within five weeks or around five weeks time but between then and now you are organising meetings across the UK. What are those meetings going to consist of for members? Well, we, we've got a couple of online meetings for officials in the next couple of days. Uh, we then uh, ask people to arrange open meetings for members to attend in every brigade and region. Uh, and certainly myself and you will be out on the road speaking to people directly because it's important to get that direct feedback of people's experiences, people's views, people's concerns and suggestions. We want that. Uh, this isn't my property or your property. This is a property of the members. It's about our members' pay. Uh, and therefore everyone has to be fully involved in that and that's a, that's a big, big uh, challenge. The five weeks, that's the target that the Executive Council have set, mm -hmm. but that's also a dialogue with our members. Our members need to feed back as to how prepared we are, are we ready for, for that next phase. Okay, Matt, then just to be clear, another issue that's come up, this is a ballot for strike action, yeah? 
Um, is Action Shorter Strike also being considered as part of this? Currently the Executive Council have taken a decision to move to a ballot for strike action. There was a discussion at the last meeting about other forms of industrial action, possibly to go alongside strike action. So that means things like overtime bans, not doing temporary promotion and so on. So those things will also be considered and we, again we want to hear people's views. There are very, sometimes very strong views on those issues at a, a local level. We need to have that discussion with our members as well. And then just finally, an issue that does keep getting raised, the employers made a 2% offer, an insult, no doubt about that. Um, but we haven't made a counter offer. We haven't gone back to them to figure we want. Why not? Look, I think any, or any suggestion that had been made back in July would now be out of date. Uh, yeah. So I think the responsibility rests on central government and on our employers to take account of the change in economic circumstances. The ball is in their court, the obligation is on them to take steps to address our members' falling living standards. And, we, and, and how we settle that, again, is a matter for our members to determine. Okay, Matt, now for all the firefighters and firefighters control FBU members across the country watching this video, what's your final message to them between now and when the ballot paper arrives? I think what we can say is that uh, we understand fully how serious this next phase of this campaign is. Uh, all our experience throughout the history of the Union, in throughout the 100 plus years, but also in recent years where we've had to take battles on, is the only way we will make progress is when we stick together, we stand together and we stand united. Uh, if we don't do that, our employers and the government will walk all over us. We need to stand together. We need to demand decent pay for the professional, essential job that our members do. That's what this campaign's all about. And that's a perfect way to finish this video. Mark Rack, thanks very much indeed. Thanks, Tom.